It turned out that with this technique, only about one hole in five came out okay. In a previous video, I drilled these holes so well centered in these wooden rods. And in another one, I made these blind holes, well centered too, in these pieces of wooden rod. I even drilled one piece all the way through, but it was not as easy as it looks. Now, in this video, I'm going to drill these holes, side to side and well centered, in much smaller pieces. For this case, I made a clamping jig. I glue this one here nice and straight. That one I don't glue. It helps me glue this plywood strip correctly. And I drive in a couple of screws. Now I have this other piece, which is a bit thinner, and I'm going to glue it, but onto the plywood. Now I can insert one of the pieces I want to drill, and by pressing the plywood, it stays held in place. This wooden dowel will serve as a stop block. It goes against the back of the jig, and it will help me keep the doweling jig fixed. On the pieces I want to drill, I marked the center, and I marked it with a drill bit tip, as we'll see right away. So now I can first place the drill bit in its spot. I bring the stop lock against the back of the jig, and similar to how I did in the video where I drilled the ends of the rods, I thought it was a good idea to glue some stop locks to the sides of the drilling jig. Spoiler, it didn't work. I already glued the first one, and I'm going to glue the second. The idea was that now I'd only have to clamp the piece to drill, and the drilling jig would go straight to the correct position to drill. I'll tell you in advance, it couldn't be that easy. That one came out pretty well. And that other one almost perfect. But it turned out to be one of those times when things work on the first try, and then not anymore. It turned out that with this technique, only about one hole in five came out okay. A piece of sandpaper helps prevent the pieces from spinning while drilling. And of course, that hole already came out crooked. This was when I discovered I had to mark the center of all the pieces on both end grains. Mark them with the drill bit tip carefully and precisely. Clamp them well. Make a well-centered pilot hole. And now, yes, with the doweling jig, drill the holes. I removed the stop blocks I had glued on the sides, but I left the one on the jig against the back of the support. And now all the holes do come out centered. In this case, they're for the wooden hinge I made in a previous video. I'll leave the link. And in this case, I need to drill them side to side. That's why I drill a bit more than half the length from each side to join both holes. Did you expect something that looks so simple to get so complicated? At least the solution was simple. Thanks for watching the video, and if you like my videos, subscribe and hit the bell.